Welcome to Pagan Crafting. Today we're going to look at Travel Pocket Altar Part 7, The Making of a Mini Pendulum. Check out for Part 8. We've gone through the tour, sculpting, modeling, making envelopes, saging, smudging, the filling of the jars. You name it, we've done it. Now we have the little mini pendulum. Stay tuned and let's have some fun with some pagan crafting. Today we have a very short and sweet episode. We're going to make a little miniature pendulum for your travel pocket altar using a red garnet bead, a black halloite skull, a little pentacle charm and a glass black fauceted bead. You're also going to need about a two and a half to three inch chain, bug pins, pliers, wire loop makers, and wire cutters. Just sniffing, snipping off the excess amount here and using my loop wires, pliers, to help make a loop. I want to loop one on each side of the bead, as so. And that'll help attach it on to the rest of the pendulum. And repeat for the little black skull. You can choose what any type of beads that you like. I'm just going with black and red for this one to match my tin. And I thought the little black skull would look super cute because it's so tiny as well. Now we're going to grab some jump rings here. You're going to get your pliers out. Open up the next junk rings. And we're going to attach that on to the pendulum. And the skull. And now we just start assembling the pendulum together, however we would like it to lay down. So I'm using my pentacle as the weight of my pendulum, the charm, the garnet for empowering. I'm also an Aries, so the garnet is also one of my birthstones when you're following the, the zodiac birthstones, not the jewelry store birthstones. And another jump ring and keep assembling. I'm using very, very small jump rings, not very big to keep it as tiny as possible. And a very thin chain as well. And last but not least, we have the black fauceted bead, which will be our little thumb and finger hold. So pretty. I'm so, so ecstatic how this turned out. This is my tiniest pendulum that I own. It's kind of sad that it's going to live in the little pocket altar, but instead what I might do is make another one so I can have it in my purse as well. <laughs> Thank you so very much for chilling out for me and, and watch out for the next part in our series. 
then we're going to be looking at some sigil making and some scroll making. So look out for part eight and we shall see you then and take care.